Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. Holy Father, angels, spirit guides, if I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. All right, all right, all right. This message is for all of my Scorpios. Okay, let's see what's going on for all of my Scorpios, all my beautiful, wonderful Scorpios. Gonna go ahead and start off with the Spellcaster's Oracle deck. Okay. First thing first. First thing first. I pop up. Freak all the money. Money. Ain't more money. No money. Okay, lighten your load. So, you know, there's something that has been weighing heavy on you. You may have been putting too much on yourself, okay? And because you've been too, putting too much on yourself, it's definitely like there's some time for you to go ahead and give something to the most high. It's not for you to worry about. Worrying is not going to solve anything with this situation. Definitely it's time for you to give something to the most high and let go, okay? And I do see you very much so just doing that. You realizing that like it's out of your hands. You're going to let it be what it's going to be. And you're going to continue to be, remain strong regardless, okay? All right. So you have gotten some type of clarity in a situation. Um, this may have been something that you were looking at completely wrong. You may have been looking at something completely wrong, but now you realize exactly what it was, what it is. It like, it's like all a lesson. It was all something that you had to realize that um, you were accepting. And it was all a lesson. And you know, you learned your lesson. And because you learned your lesson and you've been spiritually guided, right? Your spirit guides have been showing you signs and synchronicities and led you to free yourself. So you're no longer boggled down by any validation. You're no longer valid, boggled down by anybody that wants to send any type of ill will towards you. You never need any validation from anybody and follow your intuition because you are very much so a person that has those intuitive nudges that are sent to you at the right times, at the right places, when it's supposed to be. Just follow that because once you follow that intuition, something will prove to show you. Okay, we have truth. Something will prove to show you the reason why you did that and it will always come out to be greater, right? It will always come out to be in your benefit because you follow your intuition. We have passion here. There is something that you're very much so passionate about, something that you're very much so um, want to do that like it, it lightens your spirit, something that you're very much so, it, it makes you happy, okay? And this right here, continue to be consistent with it. It's going to lead you to some new beginnings, right? It's going to lead you to some new beginnings. It's going to lead you to um, things that very success, successful type of energy, okay? We have confidence here. So there may be points and times when you feel lack of confidence. Continue to remain in that you know I am. I am beautiful. I am worthy. I deserve this. I am um, in the most abundant period of my life. I will continue to um, receive. I am in the energy of receiving. Continue just to be in that energy because I do really see a lot of um, confidence is going to lead you to just being very successful. Okay? Let's see what else we have. Let's go ahead and put some tarot on it for my beautiful, wonderful Scorpios. First thing first. Okay. So there's something that magician in reverse. There's something that you had some indecision about. And this thing that you had indecision about, this is a very manipulative energy. So, you know, I don't blame you. I don't blame you because there's something that you had indecision about, indecision about, and that's only because the situation was not forthright. The situation um, you know, there was some type of manipulation involved, abuse and power involved that made you not be too sure of the situation, okay? Let's see what else we have. We have the fool and the sun, okay. But I see you moving away. You're not caring anymore because there's something that was just very lower vibrational that happened and you realize that, damn, is am I accepting this? Do I need this in my life? And no, the fuck you don't, Okay. So it's like you woke up and you realize you don't need that. You're just, you deserve way better. And it's like, um, you're right. That's the motherfucking truth, period. You deserve way better than what you have been given in a certain situation. And you realize that you wanted new beginnings. You realize that you're going to go ahead and take a leap of faith with yourself and put yourself out there, you know, because you are very much so a person that um, it's, it's very hard to get in your energy. And you don't like to just put yourself out there. You, you like to be very comfortable in your comfort zone. But is there something new out there for you? And then you taking this leap of faith is going to lead to success. We have the sun here. You know, the sun is the source, okay? So, you know, you're getting some understanding and understanding, um, you know, exactly what you have been accepting as well. Understanding that, you know, if you're accepting something, you're going to continue to get it. Three of four. So there has definitely been some heartbreak. Um, there definitely has been some ties that you may have to sever 
Because what separate you're you're getting way of this old of this lack mentality of this energy that did not reciprocate to make something to make way for new, right? Because you understand that before you were attracting this. It's something about you that was still attracting this lower vibrational energy that did not want to reciprocate. And you no longer want any involvement with any of that. Whether it's in your workplace, whether that's in your life, whether that's in, you know, your social, like with your friend group, whether that's with your family, you're no longer attracting anything that does not reciprocate. You have understand that any type of healing that you had to do, you, you know, you began to heal and you continue to heal. And as you're healing yourself, you're understanding that, you know, you deserve the best and the energy that you give temperance. Okay. The energy that you give requires balance because you are such a loving, because you are such a genuine, because you are such an honest person. It's going to requ require a balance. And I do see the most high sees that the, the most high understands that there's been a lot of betrayals in your life. The most I, I'm high knows that you've learned a lot of lessons. There's been a lot of unhealthy competition, people putting you in competition that you ain't even know they was putting you in competition, right? There, there was like people comparing you to this, this, and that. People not wanting you to win. People being naysayers towards you. But it doesn't matter because you're winning regardless. Three cups and a star. You're winning regardless because you understand the power of healing, right? I oftentimes speak about the power of healing. The power of healing is very important because if you are doing anything from an unhealed space, it's not going to win because you're doing something from a lower vibrational place and you don't realize like why you have, you know, come from this place of lower vibration of doing things up from a lack energy is because you have not been healed. But once you understand that baby, it's a whole new ball game. It's a whole new ball game because you realize like things that have may have not gone right for you in the past or situations or relationships that you were in. It was some shit about you that you attracted it. You attracted it and you realize that you no longer want to attract that and you're moving away from that. And you know, it's good that you know. You know, if, if you know better, you can do better. Because a lot of times we'll sit here and repeat and it's easier said than done. Because you know, best believe me included. Sit here and repeat these karmic cycles knowing good and damn well that there's something way better out there for us. And you know, to do better, we to, to get better, we have to go ahead and change. We have to go ahead and understand that you're no longer receiving that hurt. Like you're no longer living through that hurt place. So you're not receiving any of that hurt, lack mentality coming back to you, right? So I really do see that this is somebody that has worked hard on themselves. You have worked hard on yourself. And because you have worked hard on yourself and, you know, understood that you are a student and you have to always constantly learn, a lot of good news is coming towards you. Ten of Pentacles, okay. Um, a lot of wealth, happiness, achievements, prosperity, and just, you know, just established, being able to establish some generational things um, from being able to go ahead and break those those chains, from being able to break those generational curses. It was meant for you to do it. You are the chosen one. You are the person in your family, in your bloodline that was supposed to do. You always have felt different. You have always never felt the same as anybody else in your family. You always felt like this inkling inside of you of like, what is that? Like, why do I feel like this? Why, like, what is this about me that's just not the same as everybody else? It's because you're chosen, baby. And it, you're not meant to do everything like everybody else, but the way you do it is your own way and it's magnificent. And I and I just see a lot of greatness coming towards you. Let's go ahead and put some last advice on it. I'm going to go ahead and use the spell, the spellcaster. Okay. I'm going to put the spellcaster's oracle deck back on it for some last advice. I see you and your family just living an abundant life, living an abundant life, being very jovial, um, having a lot of transformational energy, of, of course, peaks and slopes, but for the most part, peaks, all the slopes will definitely be lessons learned. And, and I do see like, what is this? Healing, like I said, because you were able to heal, because you were able to understand the power of healing and actually, you know, getting rid of that lack and letting go of anything and understanding that things that you have gone through may have been a p position in your life that you have were accepting that. But you're no longer accepting that because you're you, you want this peace and you're having a very peaceful life and you have a commitment with you and the divine, with you and the most high. And because you are this chosen one and you have, you know, lived through many, many, many things that you will never share and keep to yourself. And, you know, things that have, you know, that will, you know, hurt and, and, you know, leave a lot of people stagnant. They didn't do that. It didn't happen to you. It didn't happen to you. It pushed you. 
you you definitely are going to be some getting some answers from the most high as to you know the reasons you may have been going through this but a lot of your manifestations are coming true and i say a lot not all because you have to continue to grow and as we continue to grow we continue to understand you know even more and have different manifestations all right this is beautiful. This is wonderful. Just continue to trust in the most high. Trust where you're led and be consistent and it's not going to lead you wrong. Period. You're empowering a lot of people. You are inspiration. No matter if people ever tells you that you're inspiration, you're definitely inspiration. Just continue to live and be your genuine, authentic self. And you're, it's never going to lead you wrong. You have very transformative energy, as you know. And just continue to just show your talents. Continue to just be, like I was just saying, just be you. And ain't nobody going to do it like you can't nobody do it like you. And you are special. You are chosen. And it was meant for you to break these curses. Never forget that. You are the chosen one. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, subscribe. And then look, y'all, prosperity. Nothing but prosperity coming for you. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace. Love and namaste.